tópico hoje é o restaurante. The topic today is the restaurant. Remember to check the site portuguesalab.com for free podcast resources for download, including transcript, translation and exercises. Now that we have the necessary vocabulary learned on episode 19, let's use it in some practical situations while at the restaurant. Pay attention that all exchanges should use the formal treatment, preferably without personal pronoun. If you need help with this topic, please check episode 18 of the podcast. So you arrive at the restaurant. You either have a reservation or you don't. Let's start with the option where you have a reservation. First, the greeting. You can choose between Bom dia, good day, boa tarde, good afternoon, or boa noite, good night. So you choose the greeting according to the time of day. Eu tenho uma reserva. I have a reservation. Eu tenho uma reserva. Let's include the name in this sentence. I'll use mine now. Eu tenho uma reserva em nome de Susana Moraes. I have a reservation under the name of Susana Moraes. Eu tenho uma reserva em nome de Susana Moraes. Em nome de under the name of. Now the second option where you don't have a reservation. Again, you start with a greeting according to the time of day. In this example, you'll ask for a table for two. Eu queria uma mesa para duas pessoas. I would like a table for two. Eu queria, I would like, uma mesa, a table, para duas pessoas, for two people. Great, now you're seated. The menu is not on the table. You get nervous because you have to request it, but it's quite easy. Now you know how to say you would like something. Eu queria. Eu queria o menu, por favor. I would like the menu, please. Por favor, please. I am not going to include por favor, please, in all our examples, but be sure to include it in your sentence while requesting something. So, now you have the menu and unfortunately it's not in English. Unless you are in a touristic restaurant, in that case you will have a thick menu with several pages and all the languages you can think of. But where is the fun in that? Let's look at the menu in Portuguese. Naturally, they don't look all the same, but generally you will see the menu divided into different areas. These are the areas. Entradas Appetizers Entradas Sopas Soups Sopas Pratos de carne Meat dishes. Pratos de carne. Pratos de peixe. Fish dishes. Pratos de peixe. Pratos do dia. Days specials. Pratos do dia. Sobremesas. Desserts. Sobremesas. And finally, bebidas. Drinks. Bebidas. So now you look at the names of the dishes and you make your choice. You are ready to order. Let's order a fish dish you already know if you listen to episode 14 about food, bacalhau à bras. Queria um bacalhau à bras. I would like a bacalhau à bras. If the menu has the option of one dose and half dose, you can also specify that in your order. Queria uma dose de bacalhau à bras. I would like a dose of bacalhau à bras. As the name indicates, a dose, it's a larger dish. Depending on the restaurant, it can be enough for one or two people. Half a dose is enough for one person that does not eat a lot or for children, for example. So let's use the same structure for ordering drinks. You will order a bottle of water. Queria uma garrafa de água. I would like a bottle of water. If you don't specify anything else, you will get a mineral water. If you want sparkling water, you order Queria uma garrafa de água com gás. Sparkling, com gás. You can also specify if you want something to eat or drink in your question. Para comer, queria. To eat, I would like. Para comer, to eat. Para beber, queria. To drink, I would like. Para beber, 
to drink. So to order something, you use the structure queria plus the thing you want. Queria uma sobremesa. I would like a dessert. Queria um café. I would like a coffee. Eu não pedi um café. I didn't order a coffee. Eu não pedi. I didn't order. Pedi is the past tense from the verb pedir, to request or to order, conjugated in the first person singular. Also, other things can go wrong. The food is too salty, for example. Let's use one of the adjectives we know. Salty. Está salgado. It's salty. Está salgado. Está muito salgado. It's very salty. Está is from the verb estar, to be, conjugated in the third person singular. But let's go back a bit now. What if you don't know what the dishes are when you read the menu? One question might help you, but if you don't understand the answer, you might be back at square one. But don't worry, because everything is delicious, no matter what you order. Here is the question. O que é bacalhau a brás? What is bacalhau a brás? O que é? What is? Or, if you don't understand what sides come with the dish. Qual é o acompanhamento? What is the side? Qual é? Which is? After your meal, you wish to pay. Queria pagar. I would like to pay. Queria pagar. If, again, you have trouble getting the attention of the waiter, you know what to do. But some expressions might help you get what you want. Raise your hand and say, Desculpe. Excuse me. Desculpe. Or, Olhe. Look, pay attention. Olhe. This word alone might be a bit rude, so it's better to complement it with other words that make it polite. Olhe, desculpe, por favor. Look, excuse me, please. If this doesn't get his attention, you are in trouble, but you probably need to digest all the food you ate, so just relax. Once the bill is on the table, don't let the waiter go away without specifying if you wish to pay with card. Queria pagar com cartão de crédito. I would like to pay with credit card. Queria pagar com cartão de crédito. Queria pagar com multibanco. I would like to pay with debit card. Queria pagar com multibanco. About the tip. There is no rule as to how much you should leave as a tip, or that you should leave something at all. So don't worry too much about that. If your food was amazing, I believe it will be, or if your waiter was very efficient, don't know about this one though, you might want to leave a tip. This is how to do it. The waiter brings your change on a little plate. You decide how much of that you want to leave behind or add something to it if you feel that that is not enough. Then get up and leave. If you paid with card and there is no change returning to your table, just leave your tip on the table, get up and leave. If you don't want to leave anything at all, that is also fine. Leave saying, muito obrigado. Thank you very much. Muito obrigado. That's what you say if you're a man. Muito obrigada. That's what you say if you're a woman. Muito obrigada. Then add either bom dia, boa tarde, or boa noite. And finally, até a próxima. See you next time. And this is also how I say goodbye to you now. Até a próxima. That's all for now.